Pluto, a previous planet that was downsized to a bantam planet, stays a subject of interest and concentration in the cosmic local area, as shown by later figures by leading scientists. Pluto's circle is hazardously near Neptune's. Astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku are both raising the alert about a possibly perilous impact between these two planets, which could represent a basic gamble to Earth. Yet, how is such an occasion even conceivable? Pluto's excursion around the Sun isn't like any other planet in our planetary group. It requires a stunning 248 years to finish a solitary circle, meaning that since its discovery in 1930, it hasn't even completed one full revolution. Yet the interest doesn't stop there. Pluto's circle is set apart by its uncommonly bended shape, meandering by and large from the closed to roundabout circles of the major planets. What makes Pluto's circle even more inquisitive is its slant, set at 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane. The way Pluto follows its circle is altogether more outrageous compared to other planets. This tendency and eccentricity add layers of intricacy to its orbital plan. Quite possibly of the most fascinating part of Pluto's circle is its crossing point with Neptune's circle. For around 20 years in each circle, Pluto actually draws nearer to the Sun than Neptune, standing in contrast to what we would anticipate in light of their positions in the solar system. This prompts the regular inquiry. Why hasn't Pluto slammed into Neptune? The response lies in the gravitational impacts of different planets. The investigation of Pluto's circle began not long after its discovery. Initially, stargazers attempted to sort out its abnormal way. Unlike other planets, whose circles lie for the most part close to the ecliptic plane, Pluto's circle juts with its precarious tendency and prolonged shape. The mystery grew with the acknowledgement that Pluto's circle does indeed cross Neptune's. The steadiness of Pluto's circle in the midst of these intricacies is proof of the many-sided mechanics of space. The three-body problem in space involves sorting out how three objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, move and interact with one another due to their gravity. It's like attempting to anticipate where they will go based on where they start and how the way they pull on each other works. For Pluto's situation, this issue shows how its circle, Neptune's circle, and the Sun's gravity all work together in a complex way. The terms alpha libration and degree relibration, alongside the VZK wavering, are vital to addressing this puzzle. As shown by astrophysicists, what keeps all planets in their orbits is a peculiarity called alpha libration. In the case of Pluto and Neptune, this term implies that whenever Pluto crosses Neptune's circle, it is no less than 90 degrees away from Neptune. This spatial division is critical in keeping their circles from crossing. Libration, on the other hand, alludes to the vertical development of a body in its orbit. For Pluto, this means that when it comes nearest to Neptune or some other giant planet, it is situated well above their orbital plane, giving an additional layer of security from possible crashes. Another critical consideration is the VZK swaying, named after three specialists, Bon, Zippel, Leo, and Kai, who studied how objects move in space. It's about how three space objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, pull on each other with their gravity. This gravitational force influences how they move. In Pluto's case, the VZK explains why its circle around the Sun is so strange. Notwithstanding its seemingly inconsistent way, this swaying helps keep Pluto moving smoothly for billions of years. The VZK swaying shows that despite the fact that things in space may seem tumultuous and irregular, some patterns and forces keep everything together. These factors help maintain Pluto's circle ensuring it doesn't crash into Neptune or get lost. This three-body problem is vital for understanding how orbits change because of how space objects pull on each other. Studying this helps us learn more about Pluto, our solar system, and far-off stars and planets. Mathematical simulations in the late 1980s revealed that despite these balancing out properties, Pluto's circle is, overall, turbulent, with slight deviations in initial conditions leading to large changes over time. However, these unusual properties of Pluto's circle have been found to fundamentally maintain stability over extremely long timescales, keeping the chaos under control. Ongoing computer models have helped us understand how giant planets like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn impact Pluto's orbit around the Sun. Neptune has an exceptional relationship with Pluto, where for every two orbits Pluto completes around the Sun, 
Neptune completes 3. This resonance stabilizes Pluto's orbit, but Neptune isn't the only element. Jupiter's gravity also plays a massive role in protecting Pluto's orbit, and Saturn contributes as well. These studies show that Jupiter's gravity alone is strong enough to ensure Pluto stays on a steady path for an extended period, possibly even billions of years. So, it's like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn are working together to ensure Pluto continues to move safely in space without getting into trouble. These idiosyncrasies are crucial in the larger context of the universe, keeping everything together and maintaining stability in the motion of celestial bodies. Without these parts, the solar system, as we know it, would be a much more violent place, with bodies like Pluto potentially crashing into others or being flung out of their stable orbits, leading to a cascading effect on other celestial objects. For Pluto, especially in discussions about its possible contact with Neptune in the future, understanding its orbit is significant. This gives us a clearer picture of the solar system's dynamic nature. The case of Pluto shows how even the most apparently unstable orbits can reach a state of equilibrium through the complicated interaction of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. It also highlights the importance of continued observation and investigation of these characteristics to better understand our place in the universe. Investigating the depths of space frequently drives us to confront the odd nature of celestial bodies, and Pluto's orbit is an ideal example of this phenomenon. The concept of orbital chaos, which refers to the sensitive dependence of a body's path on its initial conditions, is clearly demonstrated in Pluto's case. This means that even slight changes in Pluto's position or speed can dramatically alter its long-term trajectory within the vast area of our nearby solar system. Pluto occupies a remarkable place that challenges how we understand planetary order and elements. Since its discovery in 1930, Pluto has undergone extensive review, leading to significant discoveries about its composition and behavior. Quite possibly of the most interesting parts of Pluto is its surface, which is a complex tapestry of ice, rock, and other compounds. The New Horizons mission, which flew by Pluto in July 2015, provided stunning data about this. Far off, the world Pluto's surface is portrayed by immense fields, transcending mountains and profound valleys. One of the most striking highlights is Sputnik Planitia, a gigantic heart-shaped plane, primarily made of nitrogen ice. This area grandstands a different cluster of topographical features, including enormous ice blocks and what give off an impression of being flowing glaciers. The presence of these elements suggests that Pluto might still be topographically dynamic, despite its significant stretch from the sun and low temperatures. Another intriguing part of Pluto is its atmosphere, which is fundamentally made of nitrogen, with hints of methane and carbon monoxide. Pluto's atmosphere is thin, yet shows charming seasonal variations. As Pluto moves closer to the sun in its extended orbit, its environment can grow and become more powerful. This behavior mirrors the complex connection between Pluto and its atmosphere. During Pluto's nearest approach to the sun, some of the atmospheric gases might freeze out onto the surface, while as it moves farther away, these gases can sublimate back into the atmosphere. The connection between Pluto and its largest moon, Charon, moreover, adds complexity to the system. Charon is somewhat large compared to Pluto, with a diameter about half that of Pluto itself. This size ratio means that the two bodies circle a point in space that lies between them, rather than Pluto simply orbiting Charon. This unique relationship adds to the gravitational dynamics of the area, impacting the orbits of other objects in the Kuiper Belt. The Kuiper Belt, an area past Neptune populated by small icy bodies, is home to many other dwarf planets and potential impactors. This belt is a source of ancient material from the early solar system, offering researchers a brief look into its development. Pluto's orbital attributes might provide insights into the development patterns of these far-off objects, suggesting that associations with larger planets may have played a significant role in shaping their current orbits. One of the key implications of understanding Pluto's orbital mechanics is its potential effect on how we might interpret the solar system's evolution. Gravitational impacts from nearby giant planets like Jupiter and Neptune can change the trajectories of smaller bodies, including those in the Kuiper Belt. Such connections can lead to changes in orbits, possibly causing collisions or ejections from the solar system. 
As researchers continue to study these interactions, they may uncover broader patterns that govern the behavior of celestial bodies across the universe. The exploration of Pluto also raises philosophical questions about order in cosmology. The decision to rename Pluto as a dwarf planet in 2006 ignited debates about what defines a planet. The International Astronomical Union's definition focused on criteria like orbital stability and size, leaving many to consider the implications of such classifications. This ongoing discussion mirrors our evolving understanding of the universe and highlights the need for a flexible approach to categorizing celestial bodies. Moreover, the potential for future exploration of Pluto and the Kuiper Belt remains an intriguing frontier. With advances in technology and mission planning, scientists are considering sending additional spacecraft to study Pluto, as well as other objects with similar orbital characteristics. Such missions could provide valuable data about the primordial materials that formed our solar system, possibly shedding light on the origins of life on Earth. The role of exoplanets, planets beyond our solar system, is another captivating area of study that intersects with our understanding of Pluto. As astronomers discover a growing number of exoplanets, especially those in the habitable zones of their stars, the lessons learned from studying our own solar system may help in developing theories about planetary formation and habitability. Finally, public interest in Pluto has remained strong, bolstered by its enigmatic status and the stunning images returned by the New Horizons mission. The dwarf planet has captured the imagination of people worldwide, inspiring a renewed appreciation for the immensity of space and our place within it. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of Pluto and the celestial bodies that share its corner of the universe, we are reminded of the awe-inspiring wonders the universe has to offer. Does Pluto's remarkable nature extend beyond its physical properties and orbit? It also serves as a critical case study for understanding planetary evolution and the dynamics of celestial bodies. Pluto's formation is believed to have occurred in the early solar system, alongside other Kuiper Belt objects. Studying its composition can offer insights into the conditions that prevail during the formative stages of the solar system, potentially revealing clues about the formation of Earth-like planets. Later research suggests that Pluto may have a subsurface ocean, a discovery that could reshape our understanding of its geology and potentially support life. New Horizons data revealed that some regions of Pluto's surface, such as the frozen mountains, may be made of water ice which behaves differently from regular rock at low temperatures. This discovery invites further investigation into the possibility of liquid water existing beneath its frozen exterior, raising intriguing questions about the potential for life, even in such extreme conditions. Furthermore, Pluto's relationship with its atmosphere can offer insights into environmental science. The seasonal changes in its thin atmosphere provide a natural laboratory for studying atmospheric cycles on a planetary scale. Scientists are particularly interested in how the interaction between solar radiation and the surface can lead to complex weather patterns, similar to those observed on larger planets.